Hey there, it is Emily with E Squared Photography and welcome. If you're new here, we're excited to have you here. We keep things simple and fun. If you've been here for a while, you might notice Erin is not sitting next to me. It's because she is super busy with her full-time job. So I am taking over some of the YouTube videos for now. So welcome, welcome. We're excited to get started with today's lesson all about five things we wish we knew when we first started using Lightroom. Every Monday morning, we come out with new educational videos for photographers just like you. If you are interested in learning more about these, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. So today we are diving into things we wish we knew when we first started editing inside of Adobe Lightroom. So by the end of today, we hope you can come away with at least one tip that's going to help you edit more efficiently and get things done. Um, and just any aha moments, we hope that those come during this video today. And make sure to stick around until the very end because we have something special just for you. So I think everybody's goal when they're editing inside of Lightroom is one, editing efficiently, and two, editing consistently. Efficiently and consistently, consistent, consistency? Consistency. Having consistent edits is what we are looking for when we are working in Lightroom. We don't wanna spend all our time in there. We want it to be quick and easy. So we're gonna to talk today about some tips for you. The number one thing that we wish we knew was that, that there was something called a culling software. So what is that? What is culling? So what culling is, is going through your images after you've taken them, not on your camera, cause that's gonna take forever. But if you go and call inside of Lightroom, it actually takes a lot longer than you think it's taking. We use something called photo mechanic to cull through all of our images. We will five star the ones we like, and then Lightroom will know that we're five starring those. It works together really, really well. But Photo Mechanic goes through and helps you cull through super, super quick. We wish we would have believed someone when they told us that right away and just purchased it right away off the bat so we could speed up our editing process. Now, Photo Mechanic, we've linked it in the description below so you can take a look at it. I believe it is a one-time payment. So once you pay, you have it for life so you can continue to use it. So check it out if it's something you wanna look into to help speed up that culling process. The second thing we wish we knew when first starting out in Adobe Lightroom is how to crop correctly. Like what is right for cropping? Even inside our, with our cameras when we're actually taking the image or the picture at the shoot, we wish we knew a little bit more about cropping. Let's take a look at a couple images here. So in the image on the left, super cute image of her with the caramel apple, but we chopped off her hand. If we would have her whole hand in the picture, it's going to look a lot nicer and be a lot cuter. It's probably still one you could deliver for fun, but it's going to look a lot nicer if we have her whole hand. The one on the right then, you can see we have chopped off her feet. So just those little minor things, if we, if we wish we knew a little more about the proper ways to crop images in camera and in Lightroom. Number three, we wish we knew how to copy and paste your settings. So what you can do inside of Lightroom, if you look at these two images here, you can tell they're taken at the exact same location. So what we can do is we can edit the image on the left of the little kids, and then we can copy and paste the settings that we used on that image onto the next one. So we would copy our exposure, our shadows, our contrast, all of that would be copied and pasted to the next image. Now it's not gonna copy and paste the crop, or any spot removal stuff we're doing on faces or in the background, whatever it might be. It's just going to copy and paste those basic ones so you can get the same consistent look from image to image in the same location. Okay, so one thing we mentioned here just now was that you can copy and paste settings. So I've edited this image here. I can go over where it says copy over on the left here and it's going to copy all of the settings that I did, and I can go over to an unedited image, 
Um, very similar um, lighting because it was taken just shortly after. Um, same location, all of that. And then I can hit paste and it's going to give me all of those settings, super easy. Now I just have to crop and do any minor details. The fourth thing we wish we knew is that you can do some custom things. You can customize inside of Lightroom. So let's talk about some of the things that we like to customize. The first one is we like to create very, very basic presets with things we usually do to all of our images. So whether it's increasing the exposure or decreasing shadows or increasing highlights, whatever it might be that we like to do usually to almost all of our images, we create a very basic preset off of that. So we, when we get inside Lightroom, we can click on an image and we can try to apply that preset and then just make minor tweaks of things um, within that basic panel in Lightroom. Now, if you're wondering on how to create your own preset, we have a video about that that you can click on and watch um, to learn more about how to create your own presets. Another thing you can do inside of Lightroom is you can create custom brushes. So if you're very new to Lightroom, what brushes do is they allow you to, it's like taking a little paintbrush and you can brush on your image, you can soften the skin, you can enhance the eyes, you can whiten the teeth. So you can create, they have some already built in, but you can create your own custom brushes that you like to use um, um, throughout sessions. You can do, like we just talked about, is you can create custom brushes. So I can go up to here, where it's the circle, the masking tool, I can hit brush. And then I can, where it says effect custom here, I can use any that are on here or I can create my own. So maybe I want to bring down the clarity to be able to brush, um, soften her skin a little bit. Uh, maybe I like that amount, whatever it might be. Then I can go to save current settings as new preset. And then I can always have that to apply to future ones. So maybe you don't like the softened skin that they're giving you. Maybe you want it a little less dramatic. You can make that happen um, by creating these new presets. And then one other custom thing that we really like to do is as we have images and we're importing them into Lightroom, we can apply what you would call maybe a preset to all of our images. So one thing that we like to do is we like to enable the profile corrections. So you will find that that's an option you can click. You can do that on all of your images and we do it on all of our images, but instead of doing it on every separate one, we can apply that on all of the images as we import them. Now we don't apply our basic presets as we import because things might change. Um, we, don't, we, necess we don't necessarily want that always. Um, it's something you could experiment with for sure. You could apply black and white to all of your images as, you're imp as you import. There's a lot of cool things that you can do. So make sure to take a look at that. And number five is we wish we knew that there were little keyboard shortcuts that would help speed up the process even more. They're super, super handy. You can find them um, in our free Lightroom guide that we have. We have in the description below. It's a free Lightroom editing guide that's going to give you all the different shortcuts that we love to use while we're inside Lightroom editing. Comment down below for us and let us know which of these five tips is going to be something that you're excited about, you're gonna learn a little more about and start to implement into your Lightroom editing process let us know. So we hope this was helpful. We hope you walked away with some great ideas to help speed up your editing or help your editing become more and more consistent um, as you learn your editing style and your editing process. One thing we do want to let you in on is a little secret is we have a Lightroom editing mini course full of video lessons walking you through how we edit and the things we love inside of Lightroom, really breaking it down for you. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to check out the link below. It's only $67 right now, so make sure to check that out if you're interested. And if you like this video today, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. 
Don't forget to grab that free Lightroom cheat sheet in the description below to get all of those shortcuts for you and check out the course, the mini course, if you're interested in that. And if you don't already, follow us on Instagram at esquared.photography for even more behind the scenes footage, more education for you on Instagram, and we will see you next week.